Hi everyone, in this video we will discuss whether data analysis is good career opportunity for you or not. I will let you guys decide whether it's good for you or not. And I'm not the one who will tell you whether you have to opt this or not because it has pros and cons of its own. So you are going to choose yourself. So let's jump into the video very quickly. About the skills that are needed to become an analyst in 2024 so the skills are basically sql excel and any data visualization tool be it power bi or tableau and there are so many uh, data visualization tools present in the market so company chooses its own and it could be adobe or google analytics so it depends on the company that which uh, data visualization tool that they are so knowing that the primary skills are just few and they are quite easy to learn than those of programming skills and mastering those programming skills is very difficult than learning analytical skills so more and more people choose to learn these skills and more and more people are increasing to opt for data analytics profile and everybody is fighting hard to get that analyst job in 2024 which is making very very impossible for someone who is a fresher in the industry to get that job offer next thing is career and growth for an individual so if you're an analyst profile, you have to learn these uh, three skills, Excel, a Power BI, or any data visualization tool, or the third one is SQL. Now that you know it very, very well, and you are pro at these things, but what about next? And you have grown so much as an analyst, you know things really well, you remember things very well, and you are the top in your company, but what's next? Because this is somewhere limited, your career growth will be limited, and you will just be limited to few skills and you will be master of few skills that are uh, very relevant to your job but you are not going to move anywhere you will be stuck on uh, these skills only and this is something that uh, could be really dangerous for you as in uh, professional i would say your career would be limited to some skills and you would be not be learning so many things in life so it is something that if you want more stability, more work-life balance, this is something very good for you. But if you're very ambitious and want to know so many things, want to achieve so many things, so this is not the something that will attract you in the longer run. So you have to switch from this role and you have to make career progression afterwards, after being an analyst. Being an analyst in, uh, initially is very good, but it could be painful in the longer run. Next thing is switching from your role. So if you're a data analyst, you can switch to data engineering, data science, business analysis, any cloud business analysis, or be it any role you can switch to from data analyst. So if you're someone who is uh, purely into data analytical field, you can consider switching your role in every one to two years. Personally, I've switched to sales or business analyst, which is very high paying than those of a data analyst role. And I want to suggest all of those who are into analytical field, they can start as an analyst, but they should definitely be moving ahead and definitely be learning more and more skills. So the skills that you can learn after being an analyst are uh, cloud skills that will eventually enhance your analytical profile, such as if you can learn AWS, you can become an AWS analyst, you can learn Salesforce and you can become a Salesforce analyst. So which is uh, something that is going to play a very vital role in your career and your profile will be uh, like very good after you switch from data analyst to any kind of data science or business analyst. Now talking about the opportunity in the market of data analyst. So there is a wide opportunity available for someone who is preparing for data analyst role. There are so many type of analytical profile that are present that are not even uh, known by people such as operations analyst, MI executive, BI analyst. So these are all analyst role and if you learn any analytical tool, you will realize that there are so many number of opportunities that you could apply for. But then what's the problem here? So companies have increasingly selling their courses in the name of data analytics profile. So there are so many courses that are uh, created for these particular role. And because of that, so many people have learned those skills. So for example, if, if you, you are someone who is applying for one uh, post in the data analysis, you will realize that 10,000 already applied for that particular role. So how will you survive that kind of competition in market? It's even uh, worse than uh, those of preparing for government jobs in India. I wouldn't say it is totally worse idea to opt for data analytics role. When I was applying, there was little less traffic than uh, those of now. But uh, even then, the traffic was very high. And I cracked the interview because I knew 
a cloud uh, platform. So if you know uh, cloud platforms such as AWS, SAP, BI or be it any cloud platform if you know, your chances would increase to get hired as an analyst. But if you just stick to these uh, three particular uh, tools that I've mentioned, you will realize that there are so many people who are learning and it's creating very much frustration in the people who are preparing for data analytics school. And they are like, I, I know I know their pain because I know a community uh, who is just preparing for analytics role, who the community who follow me, who subscribe to my channel. I know they post uh, comments like they are preparing from 1.5 years and they are not getting interview calls. They are applying every day. They have every skills. And I have personally talked to so many people who have, uh, who know analytics better than me, but they're still not able to get it. And it pains me to see that that number of jobs, uh, so they are not able to get that one job. So if you're uh, th preparing a data analytics, think twice. It's better for you. Um, I'm not going to get anything out of it. I I am someone who has uh, influenced people to uh, pursue analytics profile in, and, and I am someone who is telling them to not to do that. But uh, it's uh, solely be your decision. There are people who get those jobs, they, they fight, those fight harder than uh, some people. So they, they eventually get the job and if you're someone who's preparing for it, prepare, preparing hard for it, I wish you all the luck. But consider those things that I've told you in the video. So as a closing statement, I would want to say that uh, if you learn so many skills, if you learn, uh, if you up keep upgrading yourself in the data analytics field, and if you are into data analysts or preparing for data analysts, I'm not going to discourage you. You can prepare it, but uh, be mindful of, of what jobs you're up applying for. If you apply for a uh, risk and fraudulent analyst, you will realize that the traffic is less there. If you learn any kind of cloud tools, if you, you will realize that the crowd is very less. So getting an opportunity into the field makes it easier. So uh, decide wisely for yourself. Don't uh, be mis uh, misguided by the people who, uh, come, uh, like, who are like selling their courses in the name of selling the dreams to people. Don't do that. And yeah, I wish you all the best if you prepare for this role and it's a it's a good uh, profile all in all if you if you keep upskilling yourself, if you keep upgrading yourself. So that's all I wanted to say. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any query, suggestion or doubt, write it in the comment section below. I would highly appreciate your time in writing such comments. And it matters to me if you write one comment and I would give love to you all. So yeah, bye bye for now. Meet you next time.